Mama, see your feet. Yes, sir. You wondering if there's more treats tomorrow? We'll be leaving around 7.45 in the morning. We expect to get back between 4.30 and 5. No comedy is still sleepy. Nifflers and Billywig's fur feel about the same. There's a bit of softness, a bit of coarseness. Mom's is like that, but a little bit more velvety. She's just soft here. I weighed them at the previous visit. If you take the weight chart, you can see how much they weigh. I think Billy weighs three pounds and Niffler is three something. And she's two and a half ish. Mama is 10.2 pounds. She's up since the wet, last weigh-in on November 4th. Akami's up 23% of her body weight and both boys 25%.
Now, Kami did not try her treats for a bit because the boys were crowding her and she did not like that. But when she got some up here by herself, she became a fiend. A very cute fiend. Now the way to the boys' hearts are with chicken treats, freeze-dried chicken treats. She's a Jekyll and Hyde with the treats. <laughs> Normally I put the food bowl in the kennel, but it's kind of sealed off with anti-kitten shields. So I'll be taking them out, taking the food bowl outside, put it on the, high up on the shelf. If it's in here, they're going to get to it if they can get to it. But even though I didn't get the food picked up right at 10 o'clock, they were napping. So it's all good. I was going to pick it up as soon as I got home, but then I got delayed when I was out. That's right, you hold them down. Does Akami have darker feet? She does. And she's got pink purplish toe, pad, toe pads. Safety Coog. In case they knock it down.
go ahead and take care of the litter box. They still get water, just no food. Tell us what you think, Mama. Alrighty, I'm going to step out now and take the food bowl out with me. So enjoy the kittens. Have a wonderful day. Get the lamp sticking out. Yeah.